Raylene again, coming in with some breaking news out of Hawaii. Oh my goodness, look at this report real quick. Now it makes sense why they went after Hawaii. A treaty of annexation was never signed between the Hawaiian Kingdom and the U.S. No treaty equals no state of Hawaii. The state of Hawaii government established by an act of Congress is an absurdation of sovereignty during occupation and therefore not only illegal, but constitutes a war crime. I have more. This is a document from hawaiiankingdom.org. Please go look it up for the rest of the information, but let's take a look here. Therefore, a joint resolution is not a ceding of territory by treaty, but only an opinion or will of the U.S. Congress. The Hawaiian Kingdom was not annexed to the United States and remained an independent but occupied state. I have chills reading this right now. Absertation of sovereignty is illegally to take by force the sovereignty of another country, international tribunals and national tribunals prosecuted both military and civilians after World War I and World War II for these crimes. The state of Hawaii government established an act of Congress is an absurdation of sovereignty during occupation and therefore not only illegal, but also constitutes as a war crime. Unlawful, here are some of the war crimes, unlawful deportation or transfer of unlawful confinement of a protected person, compelling a protected person to serve the forces of an occupying state, willfully depriving a protected person of the rights of fair and regular trial, extensive destruction and appropriation of property, not justified by military necessarily and carried out unlawfully. Take a picture of that. I'll move over, screenshot it, read it for yourself or go directly to the website. This is the other page on the same website and there's a list of the actual war crimes if you want to take a screenshot again or go directly to the website what does this mean let's break it down it's a handshake agreement for the missionaries to take over the land and call it america nothing was signed the fire massacre tells me something big was in play and hawaii's version of 9 11 hit to prevent or delay something or they will buy up all the land and keep it as a legal loophole because of this change governance and laws are hiding spot to keep from getting sent to real u.s prison Yesterday, I just reported, or two days ago, about how Governor Green said that the government is going to take the land in Lahaina from the people. This is all making sense now. Hawaii, you should be free. Why are, why are we doing this? Why the government is supposed to serve the people? Are they serving you right now? All we can see is that they are doing everything to stop you from helping yourselves. The community, the Hawaiians, the Aloha spirit is able to take care of this disaster and help humanity, help each other with love. One more page. This is to put things in layman's terms for us. Oh, so here's another comment. Correction, between Hawaiian Kingdom and the U.S. Incorporated, when the U.S. Incorporated ceased to exist, so did the treaty. Therefore, the new independent nation of Hawaii, who has zero military and zero ability to protect and defend itself, was attacked. Yes, a war crime. If you're not sure what this is all about, do some digging, but the, the United States, Washington DC is a foreign occupied place. It is not free. And over the last few years, this has been broken down. There is a lot more to this. If you have links or want to share, I don't have time to research it right now, but this feels like really important news and I appreciate the person who sent it to me to get this out. What are your thoughts about this? Do you think that Hawaii should be free? I do. Free, uh, free everywhere. I was thinking this morning, why do we live in a world where everybody has to take power and control? That they have to control other nations, take over other societies. Why are they doing this? For exploitation of their resources? This is not the energy of new earth and all of these systems are being broken down and exposed right now. This is really what's happening. Those of you saying like, stop with the conspiracy theories. These aren't conspiracy theories. These are facts, these are out there. And for new earth to come, the old system has to be dismantled and fall apart and be exposed. And that's what we're seeing right now. So please get the word out, please share, please like, let others know if you have any other information. I have thousands and thousands of comments and messages to get through, but I will try to get through the ones that we need to see so again thanks for the person who sent this to me i appreciate it because this feels big this is really important news and information and i hope that people will understand it on the deepest levels and the implication that this really has